there and uh, kudos to Vuyo Mvogo for bringing it to our attention and congratulations are in order for everybody I believe who has received the orders and helped to make South Africa great. All right let's cross borders now and uh, go to uh, one of our neighbors on the African continent. Ugandans will take to the polls next year in February 2016. Now these presidential elections will be the most contested in the country's history. Last week a parliamentarian candidates were announced Two main opposition leaders, Kiza Visegye and Amama Mbabazi, are uh, in talks of uh, forming a coalition to challenge President Yoweri Museveni in the upcoming elections, who has ruled for nearly 30 years. Well, as the elections are draw to a near, there have been several reports of police selectively torturing and even arresting those who rally behind opposition parties. Uh, let's discuss this further. We're joined now in studio by Allah Chukudin. I hope I pronounced it correctly. I try to practice. He's the Executive Director of Good Governance Africa. A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Ayanda. How did I fare? Chudin. Chudin. Ah, yes, very enough. close. Close <laughs> but no cigar. That's all good. Let's, let's go into these matters because they, they, they're very serious, much That's more okay. serious than my pronunciation of your surname. Yeah. Underhanded tactics, are mm -hmm. they being used by the current uh, government in Uganda to try and um, quell dissidents? Well, what we can... Uh, state is that in July, um, the two opposition leaders, uh, Dr. Besigye and the former Prime Minister Mbabazi, were preventatively arrested. Uh, this appears to be the case with respect to their attempt to come together to form a democratic alliance called the TDA. Um, we know that members of the opposition parties have been arrested, tortured, um, one of the chiefs of um, security for one of the opposition leaders was arrested, held, and then one of the human rights groups confirmed that he had been tortured. Mm -hmm. We know that excessive force has been used by the police, that tear gas has been fired upon crowds attending peaceful uh, assemblies in, in towns such as Jinja, mm -hmm. um, and that in certain cases tear gas has been fired into primary school grounds harming children. So this is somewhat concerning. What's at stake here, do you think, for, for Museveni? Why fight so much to, to sway the elections in your favor? Well, as you said yourself, he's coming up for 30 years in power, came to power in January 1986. This will be the fourth hotly contested election. Basigia has uh, contested elections now three times already. This will be his fourth contestation. Um, and uh, there seems to be, at least in some quarters, a, a thirst to hold on to power. And so it seems as if, with respect to what we're seeing, uh, with suppression of media freedoms, uh, intimidation, that this is perhaps an attempt to continue Museveni's own legacy. Mm. How has he fared, though, as a head of state? What's his legacy thus far? Well, initially, reports were positive, and he was seen as a new generation of African leader. Um, however, if we look at the... The 2006 elections, for example, where his majority dropped substantially to around 59%. At that point in time, only 69% of the population turned out. We then see that uh, by the time the 2011 elections come around, the, the voter turnout has dropped to 59%, but yet the support base has gone back up to 68%. So this is somewhat concerning, um, and not to undermine or dismiss the gains that have been made, but in terms of promoting democracy, uh, you know, this type of behavior by the state is, 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 is rather concerning. Mm. I hate to put you on the hot seat, because I do know that it's rather <laughs> unfair to expect you to look into some crystal ball <laughs> and forecast no, exactly. what will happen in February. Um, yes. but, but what does your gut feel tell you? What, what sort of predictions can we expect in, in terms of these elections? Well, I think that, you know, as I've mentioned already, there are grounds for concern. Um, uh, an IRI survey that was conducted in March found that only half of the voters felt that elections would be free and fair, and um, half of the uh, participants as well felt that intimidation and violence might be a real possibility. Quite tellingly, in August, uh, a survey conducted by Research World International found that 45% of the uh, participants sampled felt that elections wouldn't change uh, the distribution of power. So that's somewhat concerning, but I think that 
if uh, attempts are made to do certain basic things, such as respect democratic rights and freedoms, uh, pull back on intimidation and violence, restrain the state, organs and agents, um, and promote the actual independence of the Electoral Commission, whilst convincing or persuading citizens that it's okay, it's important to vote, don't be afraid of voting, um, go ahead and do it. You know, let's overcome the apathy and let's uh, encourage and guarantee the safety and security of all. However, having said that, a recent campaign called Topoa, which in street, street speak means don't give up, use your vote, was actually shut down by the Electoral Commission in terms of potentially biasing voter education, when in fact all they're doing is trying to say, look, you know, we need to have improved service delivery, infrastructural development, fight corruption. So, yeah. so by and large, it seems as if the elections are likely to go Museveni's way. Oh, goodness. But with a very declining um, support base. Well, and I have no doubt that we'll have to call thing. you in closer <laughs> to the time once again to discuss this a little bit further. I wonder Great. whether or not Pope Francis's message of good leadership when he visited the country has sank in in any way, shape or form. But we remain objective and we will wait and see what the results will have in store next year. And talk about waiting and seeing. You'll have to wait until tomorrow to see the rest of the team again. It's time for us to say goodbye and God bless. Have yourself a fantastic day. We'll